Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get creative with your GoPros or your action cams whilst you're out on your bike, um, riding trails, bike parks, anywhere really. Just recently I've been exploring all the different kinds of ways I can mount the GoPro to me. I spend quite a lot of time um, just filming with the GoPro and normally I just stick it on my chest and go down the trail because I think that is quite a cool angle. But I've recently discovered that there is more angles that you can use so I'm going to share them with you guys now. The first angle that I'm going to share with you guys is the chest mount. This is such a cool way of um, going down the trail because it's in my point of view so you can see the trail in front of me, you can see the cockpit part of the bike as well so it's basically like you're on board the bike with me. All you're going to need for this um, angle is the chest mount. They sell these on the GoPro website, so if you haven't got one already, then you can go and grab one. Um, the GoPro, obviously, you're going to need, and the clicky, it's like a little clip that goes, slots into the chest mount, and the little screw. Um, for this one, most people might think that you have to mount it upright, but actually, if you turn the GoPro upside down um, and you tilt it a little bit, then you can get a better shot. Um, you can see more of the trail and rather than it just being so upright, um, you can see the handlebars as well. But if you're not sure about the angle, then you can have a little play around with the GoPro app. So you just connect your GoPro to your phone and you can see exactly what the GoPro is looking at from your phone to get the perfect shot. So this is what it will look like when it's on you. So I tilt mine down a little bit um, just so that I can get the handlebars and the trail at the perfect angle. Obviously, like I said, you can check that the angle is perfect on the app. And I also, just to, just to mention as well, make sure that these straps and these straps are really, really tight because um, when you're going down like a routine trail, for example, if it's not tight on your chest, the GoPro will move and your shot will be a bit like jumpy so just make sure them straps are super tight and then you're ready to go so I'm going to show you guys some clips of me going down some trails with the chest mount on. Oh no, that tree's horrible. <laughs> yeah. My next favourite angle for the GoPro is this one, which may look a bit funny, <laughs> but basically you've got the clip on the bottom here, so you clip it onto your helmet with the um, sticky mount so you just put a sticky on your helmet and then that clips on like that and then basically the idea is the GoPro goes at this end and when you're going down the trails the GoPro looks back at you so it's like you've got your own personal drone following you down the trail which I think is pretty cool. I've actually only used this one once and um, it was cool but what happens is your helmet goes down like this so you just got to make sure that your helmet is super super tight on your head maybe a bit too tight so that it just doesn't slip whilst you're going down the trails because obviously that is a bit dangerous if your helmet's covering your eyes when you're going down but it's such a cool perspective it's just something a bit different like I thought when I first tried it it was so cool because it's, it's actually weird to see yourself going down the trails like your facial expressions and things but it's just another creative angle to use and cut into your edits to have something a little bit different so I will show you guys how to put this on right now so basically again this actually you can't buy Tom made this one so it's just out of metal so I guess um, that's what it looks like and you can maybe make one at home. You can make them actually as long as, as you want, but also what you do have to bear in mind is the weight of the GoPro on the end. If it's too long, then um, it will really pull the front. So you've got this thing. You need, oh, let's just take my helmet off. You need a um, sticky on the helmet. 
so one of these this one's a curved one because my helmet's curved but obviously depending on your helmet you might want a flat one or um, something like that you need the GoPro clip this part of the um, mount onto the helmet like that so it looks like that and then this bit goes on the other end but you need it looking down like that and obviously at you or actually if you did want to have it looking at the trail then I guess you could it's just personal preference but I think it looks sick when it's um, looking back at you so that bit goes so your GoPro goes on the end like that and then your little bolt just ties there and then with your GoPro up which actually is really important for this one because um, if you have it looking up too far you won't see anything or if you have it looking down too far then basically you're just going to get the view of the helmet so with your GoPro app just make sure that it's in the right place and then you're ready to go and shred the trails so again I'll put some clips of me going down the trails using this mount The next angle that I'm going to show you guys is the handlebar mount and basically the aim of this angle is, is similar to the one on the helmet but this one stays on the bike and it looks back at you or you can have it facing the other way looking at the trail. Good for videos, good for photos to get some bangers and yeah it's just a cool one to just cut into your clips um, to have a different perspective of the trail. So. I'm actually going to try that one out in a little while because I've not used it yet so I will put those clips in this part of the video now. I like this one. This is the sit down, cycle and chat angle I think. Maybe not so much for extreme mountain biking for the handlebar mount as well you could have it like this or you could have it on a um, pole a bit like the one that came off the helmet so if you wanted to get some extra height or have it further out away from the bike then you also can do that as well this is just mainly about just trial and error like just finding out what angles you like and what angles are best for the kind of style of riding you're doing so get out there and give it a go also you can get the handlebar mount off the GoPro website if you haven't got any of these little bits because there are a few like bolts and like connectors and things that you will need for some of these angles so head over to the GoPro website and you can find everything you need on there the final angle that I'm going to show you guys is just the um, helmet mount so all you need is one of these stickies the clip and the bolt you basically just put it on your helmet like that and shred the trails it's a simple one but it's actually really cool because um, you can see the trail really clearly and you can also angle it down a little bit so you can see the top part of the bike so it's just another one again to add into your video just to change it up a little bit it's not the best one if you're like you've got to be super quick at going down the trails as I found out the other day um, I went down on a trail with this on and it looked like I was going like snail pace but <laughs> doesn't matter it's still just a cool angle to use Trees. Technical route, so. there are loads more other angles that you guys can go and try out as well with your gopros you could probably mount it to the forks have it on the person if you're riding with someone else have the person wear the chest mount backwards so the GoPro's looking at you that's another cool angle um, yeah so just go out there with your GoPro on a day like today where it's miserable and just play around and get some banging shots it's the end of this video now I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it useful and that you can now go out with your GoPros and get some awesome creative banging shots to put in your um, videos or even just photos that you can upload on Instagram if you do use any of the mounts or angles that I've spoke about in this video then definitely med, um, comment and tag me in them so I can have a look and see how you guys are getting on it's all new to me as well like I'm obviously learning mountain biking still but alongside with it 
because obviously I film everything that I do comes the photography filming side of things so I'm also learning that too as I said at the beginning of the video all I really use is the chest mount but now you can like really put the bike uh, put the camera anywhere on the bike and learning about that and seeing what angles work best is also so much fun too so I'm really enjoying just being creative with the GoPro and seeing what cool shots I can get so give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon bye